Hello everyone, this is Guo Tai Wang from University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. Today I show our recent work on using uh, uncertainty information to get user interactions for medical image segmentation and show its application to fetal brain segmentation from stacks of MRI slices. For the background, fetal MRI is very important for assessment of the fetal brain development. These images have a very good 2D resolution and a low 3D resolution due to some fast imaging protocols. Segmentation of the fetal brain is a preliminary task for the analysis of such images. For example, by the segmentation, we can get your fetal brain mask, and this is very important for reconstruction of a high resolution volume of the fetal brain. For the segmentation task, convolutional neural networks have achieved very good performance. However, in some cases, the result is not very good and may require user interactions for refinement. For example, uh, in, in this video, we can see in many cases, the result is very good, and only in few slices, the result is banned and require user interactions because only few slices should be refined. The question is how to do the refinement more efficiently. In common practice, we may ask the user to check the slices one by one and find the missed segmentations manually and then use some brushes or polygons for manual refinement. This procedure is quite slow and requires a lot of human efforts. In our method, we try to automatically suggest which slides to refine and also use uncertainty to highlight potential missegmentations for the user to give interactions. Based on the interactions, we use a novel level set method to obtain the refined result. So the entire procedure will be um, more efficient and only require few user efforts for the refinement. This figure shows the proposed framework. From an input stack of 2D slices, we use a novel network called MGNet to obtain the initial segmentation and the uncertainty information for every slice. Then we fetch the slice with the highest uncertainty and present it to the user ask to ask for interactions. The user interactions are combined with a level set to obtain the refined result. Then we fetch the next slice with the highest uncertainty to ask the user for refinement. The procedure will terminate when no more slices are suggested by our method. Here is our MGNet for uncertainty estimation. It is based on the unit backbone and we split the feature maps into n groups. Each group is convoluted independently, so the network can be considered as in parallel subnetworks. It obtains n predictions, and we take a variance of these n predictions as the uncertainty. The advantage is that it can obtain the uncertainty in a single forward path, which is more efficient than existing methods such as Monte Carlo dropout and model ensemble. Based on the pixel level uncertainty, we can also define the image level uncertainty, which is a sum of the pixel level uncertainty normalized by the size of the target. We rank the slices according to the image level uncertainty and present the slice with the highest uncertainty to the user first. Then we can use this pixel level uncertainties to get the user to give interactions. With the user interactions in our slice, we use an um, uh, interactive level set method to obtain the refined result. The level set is initialized as the original segmentation, and uh, this is an example. Uh, this is the initial level set function. We use the uh, user interactions as a constraint for the level set, and after the uh, optimization, we can get a result like this, and this is a final level set function. Here, this peak shows the user constraints. 
In our experiment, we used 105 stacks of MRI from 35 fetuses, where we used uh, 72 stacks for training and 9 stacks for validation and uh, 24 stacks for testing. Our code was implemented by PyTouch, and we used a uh, user interface based on PyQt for user interactions. Our code is also available on GitHub. For the uncertainty estimation, we compared our method with multi kernel dropout and model ensemble. Here you can see the uncertain region based on multi kernel dropout, mainly focus on the edge of the segmentation. And the model ensemble uh, performs better. For our method, you can see the mis segmentation and the uncertain, uncertain region uh, match very well. Here you can see the uh, regions with high uncertain, uncertainty are also uh, missegmented. For quantitative evaluation, we measured the overlap between uncertain regions and the missegmentation. We find that the overlap uh, was quite high for our method. Because we use grouped convolution, our image net has a smaller size compared with the original unit and it obtains the uncertainty in a single forward pass, which is much more efficient com uh, compared with Monte Carlo dropout and model ensemble than to require multiple forward passes. We also compared our interactive level safety with some existing refined manifestors such as GraphCut and Arnet. This figure shows that with the same set of uh, initial segmentation and the same set of user interactions, our method can obtain better results than the graph cut and Arnet. And here are some uh, quantitative evaluation results, which also shows the advantage of our interactive neural set. This video shows how our method deals with a stack of slices. As you can see, um, our method can obtain the initial segmentation and the uncertainty very fast and it will introduce the slice with the highest uncertainty um, to ask the user for refinement. The level set method can obtain the refinement uh, very fast, and the user will be asked to provide some interactions uh, in few slices. And you can see after refinement of few slices, the procedure will end, and the user does not need to check each slice manually. This will improve the efficiency, um, and we find that compared with not using uncertainty for guidance, the efficiency was improved around 30%. And compared with graph cut, our method is four times uh, faster, and the accuracy is also uh, better than the graph cut. In conclusion, because automatic segmentation results by the ends often need to be refined, in order to improve the efficiency for refinement, we introduce an uh, uncertain guided framework, where the uncertainty information is used to guide user interactions. We have shown good results for fetal brain segmentation, and in the future, the method can also be applied to other segmentation tasks. Okay, thanks very much for your attention.